Oh god, is this like a prequel? Or at least a flashback. The mic is fine, it's your mouth. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, you're going to hell. Oh. Oh, yeah? <laughs> no. Excuse me. Super, super, this is supernatural oh, vibes. Oh, Kick that door, bitch. We know you can kick a door. Oh god damn, that's a that's a demonic flame. That's not a natural flame. Azriel or Azazel or whatever is fucking oh Jesus. What was the demon's name from Supernatural Season 1? Azazel? The yellow eyed kind? Yeah, yellow eyes. Yellow eyes, yeah. <laughs> Oh, upstairs is... Help! Don't they teach you the first rule of st is stop, drop, and roll, call 911? If your house is on fire, stop. motherfucker. Did we call the authorities? Is this the same guy from the last game? Yes. This is Sebastian. Wasn't the mom from Supernatural named Lily? Dude, I was thinking the same thing. That's exactly what I was thinking. Ooh, I'm getting chills. Johnson Ackles is a baby, and so is Sam, which I can't remember his actor's name, unfortunately. Isn't it Tom something? Jared. I had that. I had that a little bit mixed up. Oh God! Uh, uh. Sebastian's voice sounds different as well. Oh, bitch! Don't bend down and give this little demon a hug. Yeah, she just. Are you surprised? Like, are you fucking surprised that this just happened? I'm not. The first, when I was in the room. Oh, there we go. He was real Sebastian. Oh, God. A couple, got a couple feds at the bar. A couple suits. So, yeah, Tom was close. <laughs> if I. Alright. Hypothetically speaking. If I'm Sebastian. Oh, God. Is that Kidman? Christ. It is. Son of a bitch, you cunt. It's been a long time. Three years. I've been trying to track you down She's... for three years. You guys will have to look up the story from the first game because I know it was really confusing and I didn't I don't stream it where you watch it like every day, but you should look the story up. It's a pretty interesting story, but yeah, Kidman is a biatch. But she has a crush on Sebastian. She wants to fuck. She wants to raw dog Sebastian. <clears throat> but yeah, if I had a daughter that I walked into the room and immediately said, You didn't save me, Dad. I definitely wouldn't fucking bend down and give her a goddamn hug. I'd be taking my gun out and being like, How Will Smith shot that cardboard cut out of that little girl in uh, Men in Black. Wait, I thought Kidman was the lady from the from SVU. I don't know. I don't watch that show. Kidman was the lady cop from the last game. Where did you get this? Hell yeah. Still alive. So Kidman works for like I said, it's a lot to explain. You would just have to read a synopsis of the first game, like I did, because even I was confused playing it. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. But there's DLCs to the first game that explain a lot to you. Like, you play as Kidman for one, and then there's some other bullshit. I don't know. Yeah, Kidman does look younger, and she does definitely sound younger. Because Kidman in the last game did kind of look like the lady from SVU. Like an older lady. Like, maybe in her 30s to 40s. Like, 35 to 40. This chick looks like she's 21. Ready to raw dog old Sebastian. Sebastian sounds different though too. 
His voice isn't as... Ooh! See? You bastard. Oh, really? See, I, I know it happens, so I can say, like, Oh, Kidman, you bitch. You'll have to read about it. I don't watch SVU, but I'm like, I know what the main lady kind of looked like, because that's the face of the show. Just like that one dude. Like the male character. Matt Lawyer or whatever? I don't fucking know. I know, wasn't he convicted of, like, sexual abuse or something? I don't fucking know, dude. Or the, was it the dude from the X-Files? I'm so fucking confused. <laughs> then why was that your response? Because you said... I, wait, I thought Kimmin was the lady from SVU. I don't know, man. Leave me a fuck alone. Am I in a wheelchair? Oh my god, I am. What do they call you? Wheels? Classic, uh, Hugh Jackman quote from X-Men. Oh god, this is like fucking Cerebro, too. I'm being abused live. You're being abused. I'm being abused. Help, she's hitting me. Well, I shouldn't, you shouldn't what joke about that, Carol. I, ex I really expected better from you. Millions of minds connected together. Who the fuck is this coming up to me? Happiness for one is happiness for oh, this is the director. See, he was in the DLC that you played Kidman as. <clears throat> so you wouldn't know, but I know because I watched like a small video. You should only expect the absolute worst from me. Yeah, I know. You fucking jerk off asshole. You connected Lily to that machine? Why did you connect her to the machine? I wonder if there's DLC for this game. I should probably look while it's still on sale, just in case. Keep saying so you wouldn't know, but I know. Kidman doesn't look as detailed in the face as that director dude just did. They kind of let the art go in Kidman's face. And she does sound way different. She looked way younger. Castellanos? Kimmin literally looks like a Final Fantasy character, like she's airbrushed. Bruh, she does kind of look like, uh, you know, a little bit. She looks like Noctis. I think she looks like you know. Obviously, she looks way closer to you know. At least the hair does. If you put Noctis' face over Yuna's body, what would that look like? Just the face cut out, not the hair. And this weird, yeah. So they go into something that's kind of like Cerebro, or like they go, they kind of go. In, no, no, Cerebro is not the right term. The Matrix. So they kind of go like into the Matrix, but it's connected. Or in the last game, it was like connected to Ruvik's mind, and that's why they were chasing Leslie, was because they were trying to get him out because Ruvik was trying to like possess Leslie, so he could come back through Leslie. I don't know. It was a little confusing. Like I said. If you read a short synopsis, you, you know, you'll understand it a little better. Why did I think Noctis before a female character? Well, because her face is like fuck ass white, like Noctis. And I could see the Noctis. I could see where you would have thought of Noctis, because Noctis is kind of like femboy bishi. Noctis is like Sasuke. Noctis is like a Sasuke clone, I would say. <clears throat> yeah, so Stem is kind of like the Matrix, I would say. 
if I had to compare it to anything. But it's like in... I could have swore it was in like Ruvik's brain slash mind, which is what that big brain thing was. I don't know. But he like didn't know that he was in it. Maybe this will tell a little bit of backstory to you. I don't know. It's like the general facial structure. Also, Femboy is a slur. Be careful. Oh, I thought that's what they called. I thought that's what they called like the Bishi. Is Bishi a slur? Sorry. I thought that's what that was called. So I apologize. <clears throat> Bishi boy, is that even the correct thing? I could have swore that's what she said. Oh, well, I guess I could have said beautiful boy then. Yeah, I mean, you know, my bad. The detail. Yeah, I know the graphics are, like, way better. I mean, when did the first Evil Within come out? Anybody want to look that up real quick? And when did this one come out? I know they're both kind of older. I think maybe Evil Within was, like, 2000... 9, 2010? Oh, Christ. I'm running back to the fucking house again. They're gonna make me relive this two times. God, son of a bitch. Yeah, just keep making me relive this moment. I'm going to just say ballpark. Last one was 2012. I mean, that could sound about right. When did this one come out? Maybe 2016? I mean, it was only eight, eight bucks. Cool. And Kidman was a fake cop to me. But yeah, Kidman does have, or did have a crush on Sebastian. She wanted to fuck hardcore. She, she wanted to, um, you know. The, the cum. I didn't even know there was a second one until today. So does today's year old. I knew there was a second one. I wanted to play it. And I heard it was a lot better. But you gotta play the first game, you know? Hello? Sebastian, are you there? Kidman. What? Snap out of it, Sebastian. You've made it in safely. How are you feeling? Terrible. Oh, sure. I've made it in safely. Like the worst hangover ever. Don't I'm getting Keanu Reeves vibes a little bit. Liam O'Neill, Miles Harrison, William Baker, Yukiko Hoffman, Julian Sykes, Confidential Mobius. So I don't remember any of those people from the first game. Glad you're here, Union. Keep. Oh. Keypad 1976. I have to try to remember that. If I come across the keypad. Lily drew this picture of me. It was burned up along with everything else in the house. 1976. My first commendation. Castellanos. I'm Keanu. You can call me Neo. Tell me something about this. Here we go. There are photos of a bunch of Mobius agents here. Your lost team. Oh, this is a team. Let us know if you locate any of them. You're our own. Damn. They're stuck in Union and searching for Lily too. Primary role, STEM software programmer, psychological profiling, medic surveillance communication, small arms. Technical support, logistics, some equipment fabrication. I wonder if these are going to be like crafters or something that help you. Heavy equipment repair, combat specialist, hardware support. Oh. Baker. Team leader. He's the guy I should try to find first. Yeah, I bet this guy is so happy to do this again. I know, right? Like, fuck. God damn you, Bernice. 
I wonder if that bitch will be back too. Take care of himself. The nurse. Her name was Nancy Gutierrez or something though. O'Neill. They must not have been expecting trouble if they sent home. <clears throat> they don't send out fat people. It's fucked up. <clears throat> Yukiko. Hoffman. Psychology. Really, you couldn't say her first name. This one could be Katie. Lily, you're too late. And now <coughs> we're all stuck inside STEM. I still this game started and I'm already lost. What are you lost about? I'm just looking at. It said that they're missing a team. This is the team that they're missing, and I gotta look for them. Oh, I'm sure soon, Ryan. Can I get a little lore going? Kara, Christ, do the scare. What if there was absolutely no monsters in this, and this was just the game? <laughs> oh, so this isn't Crimson City even? Odd. Where are the boxes, the punch? It's just a life zone. Oh, God, I don't like cats and games. Not ever since fucking Nightmare of Decay. With that cunt cat. You'll never get out of here. I told you you'll never get out, you little prick. Fucking bastard cat. Hey, <laughs> did you really think you were gonna get out? You thought you won? You didn't. Oh, is that kid? That's Kidman's face! That's fucking weird. Hey, Crimson City. Just peeking, just peeking around. You have some spit going in your mouth that's loud as fuck, I'm sorry. Wait, what? I have spit going in my mouth? What does that even mean? <clears throat> I'm spitting? Do I need to move my mic a little bit? Cat. I, don't ever <clears throat> cat. I didn't own a cat. Oh my god, this cocksucker has red eyes. I'm about to text you, check it. I did just check it. Slide projector. Where did my memory dig this up? Oh my god, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, conf I'm confused to what you mean. A relic from pre phone camera era. These are found mostly in old people's attics and estate sales. They can be viewed using the slide projector in Sebastian's room. Okay. Maybe move the mic. There's noisy spit in your mouth. Now I'm self-conscious and my mouth keeps watering. You're a real bastard. Kidman, you there? Always. You wouldn't have told me about Lily if your damn machine didn't go on the fritz. I would have spent. I'm not gonna talk now. Warning her, and you wouldn't have cared. I cared, but I couldn't say anything. They would have killed me. I'm not sure I believe you. Jerk. <laughs> To me before. It would have still made me self-conscious whether I read it out loud or not. Okay, I get it. I and now I'm like salivating. You'll never know how I feel until you've lost your family. I never had a family to lose. Just two people who brought me into this world and treated me like a burden instead of a daughter. Better to have loved and lost. Is that what you're saying? Maybe. At least you had people who cared about you. Hey Mark, do the spit. I'm leaving. Nice. Ryan likes spit. <gasps> oh my god, there's juice with the cat. 
Green gel. It's gross and it usually comes from dead enemies, but if you collect it, you can use it to obtain increased abilities. Thanks, pussycat. Yeah, I would not be interacting with that cat. <clears throat> okay, so I think I'm kind of like done here. Oh, god damn. Save terminals can be used to save your progress anytime. They can be found on safe houses in Sebastian's room. <sighs> Hi. Hello. Black cat. Hey, speaking of black cats, boo. I'm very spooked. New slot, new slot. Chapter 2. What the fuck was chapter one? Me just running from the fucking Azazel or whatever? Here we go again. Or my daughter setting me on fire? Chapter one, get set on fire by your demonic daughter. I like cats, but this one is kind of sus. Jesus. It's kind of sus. There's like three people with fucking pink names in this fucking chat. Black Cat, Rye Guy, and uh, Iconic Blade. Or Iconic Cable. My doll's head is broke. Fuck it's that okay. stupid doll. Mom can fix it for you. Why do you have a doll of your father? That's a little creepy. Sus, kitty. All cats are kind of sus. That's kind of true. I think... Uh... What was it? What was the Keanu Reeves movie? Constantine. I'll be purple. Thank you. It helps a little bit. I've got a wonderful family. An Constantine had it right with the cats being the portal to hell. Why wouldn't I be all right? Cats are the master race. You take that back. Absolutely not. Dogs are the master race. You've been working too hard. Right, Mr. Mosey? He's a good boy. Are you sure you're not coming down with something? My cat is an asshole? What? I thought your cat was... I thought you liked your cat. Fuck. It grew up a little bit and it turned into an asshole. I wouldn't mind a cat. Not at the apartment. But when I get a house, I wouldn't mind, like, one cat. And I would want a black cat. Or one of the cats with the fucked up ears, the, like the Scottish cats or whatever. I do because she's an asshole. What are the cats with the fucked ears, Kara? The Scottish cats or whatever? I'd want a chill cat, and I know you can't really pick. You kind of get what you get, right? What the? Because if my cat was a psycho, I would be scared of it. Because I can't have, like, a cat scratching me and shit with infecting me and with my skin and everything. <clears throat> um. Oh. Love the doors. Are we going back? Ah. William Baker. Well, I've upgraded. I have a flashlight instead of a fucking lamp. That's nice. Man coons are chill. We had two in Georgia before the coyotes got them. Oh, God. I would be way more scared of an aggressive dog than an aggressive cat, but that's why dogs are cool. They don't know they can kill us. Yeah, I mean, anyone would be scared of an aggressive dog. But, I mean, that's because dogs vary in size. Like, I'm not scared of an aggressive chihuahua. But like an aggressive Barrett, I would be scared, yeah. But that's why you gotta train him. 
I don't think you can really train cats to not be assholes, right? They just are the, kind of what they are. They're pretty smart animals. They don't give a fuck. I'm not saying that dogs aren't smart. Cats are just more... Demonic? Aggressive cat like a lion? I would be scared of an aggressive chihuahua. Have you ever met one? I would grab its throat and scream at it. Oh. Hello? Am I taking a picture of this? Look at the brain! Oh, shit. This is kind of cool. Because I promise that aggressive cats are way worse for your health than aggressive dogs. I mean... Like I said, it would de really depend on the dog, I would think. If it's a big-ass dog and it's aggressive and it's, like, really nasty and... Like, they'll fuck you up. Like, but I can, an aggressive cat, I'm sure, could hurt you just as bad. I don't know. Yeah, like I said, I wouldn't... That's why I would have to have a chill cat, because I can't get that infection shit. God damn, look at his face. That aggressive will fuck you way more than any dog. The lion will fuck you. Yeah, a lion will... <laughs> That's a lion. I'm talking about a house cat. You need an old senior cat. I wouldn't mind one. I mean, it doesn't... I just... It just can't, like, attack me and bite me. I'm not about that. Like, yeah, I can't be getting scratched up and shit. Speaking of lions, look what we got here. A little mount mountain lion or some shit. Or a female lion. I don't know. Jaguar, maybe? Cougar? Does this room connect? Oh. Because what's over here? My cat doesn't bite or scratch, but she will sneak attack you walking across the floor. I want a fat cat so I can pet its belly. I don't think most cats like their bellies being touched, right? Like, that's... I think that's something that usually pisses them off, right? I don't know. That's what our neighbor told me. She said, don't pet her belly. William Baker, the search team leader. He was frozen in time when I found him. This must have been taken by... The camera right by him, but how is this even possible? Turn over. My cat will like it. Cats generally don't like it, but if they're comfortable with you, they'll tolerate it. Yeah, that gets you bit. I, yeah, I mean, like, if I had a cat... Also, I... I don't think I would really be like... Like, pet it. I would just be like, I guess you can live here. And I'll, like, give you food. And you can just kind of do your own thing so long as you don't, like, try to kill me or hurt me. Someone tried to block the I'll go around patting feral cat's bellies until one doesn't bite me. Then I capture it. <clears throat> Operate. Sneaky. You can live here, I guess, as long as you don't hurt me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I said, I wouldn't mind having, like, a cat. Maybe I would, like, pet it once every day. Like, hello. One pet. Here's your food. Don't do anything. Don't tear me up. Don't kill my dogs or attack the dogs because they'll probably kill you if they hurt you. If you hurt them, and then that's that, you know? There's the sprint bar. It won't let me punch. I don't got my systems yet. <clears throat> oh, yeah, this is some Matrix shit going on. Kidman. Hopefully it's Kidman. If it's not, hello. Great, of course. Shit. 
You son of a bitch. Who's that? It's Morpheus. He's about to shove a red pill up our ass. Uh, 